Hey folks, DK5 ONV in the north northeastern hills. Good 12 miles from where I live. And uh, this year I got it really bad. Um, I didn't go to the to the to the Rhine River for one good reason because I don't know if you can see me right now. Okay. Um, there is some floods, but I might be safe at that place where I usually hanging out. Uh, reason number two is um, I got um, I got busted up by a fat ass hornet a couple days in a row. And uh, every time that happened, every time when I had some tools in my hand, you know, installing my antenna and stuff like that. And uh, guess what happens? I came up, I, I came up here first of all. It started sprinkle raining, not very long. It was probably about two inches of rain, slightly raining, really decent sprinkling for like 45, 50 minutes, and then it was gone. And then. Hornets, bees, wasp, they came out of nowhere, thousands of them, all over that area here, checking on the on the flowers, on the blossoms. And I was sitting here, my antenna was already installed, I fired up the radio and suddenly there was a fat ass hornet around my head. And I looked up in the sky, right, <laughs> right over my head, is a fat branch, a big bush. Um, I picked that place on underneath the bush on purpose because um, if it is just a little bit sprinkle raining, you know, it will it will protect me and my radio. So what was I about to do? I looked around. I see all these uh, bees and wasps and, and and even a couple of hornets been around, and I just tried to keep them off my ass. I kept slowly walking away from my radio and making up a plan. I was thinking about just to pick up my stuff and getting my ass out of here pretty safe. I looked at the clock and I looked at the daylight and I knew exactly if I make it for another 30 more minutes without getting bit, I'm fine. I didn't get any, any bite or any, any sting, gladly. If I'm able to, um, to make it for another 30 more minutes till it gets dark, they're getting back to their nest and I'll be safe. Thank God. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, properties um, down here. Uh, people, they're having, uh, they're having fruit, fruit trees there and, you know, little lots with the barbecuing. And uh, I know for sure that uh, there's a little village about a mile a good good a mile and a half right behind on my shoulder and there there is a lot of farmers and beekeepers that might be um the answer for why why did that many bees suddenly broach over here you know and then there's another thing that did, that didn't really fit bees wasp and hornets they're staying away from each other you know because we know all about it wasps killing bees and hornets killing wasps and bees so, Uncle Gunther is fine. Thanks for stopping by. So um, I'm going to surprise the big gun friendship net tonight. And, uh, except of Uncle Nick, LZ1JY. No one knows that I'm up here in the northeastern hills of Wiesbaden. Temperature right now is still 18 degrees Charlie. And the lowest temperature, if we can believe, the weather forecast should be around 15 degrees Charlie so uh, I got a warm jacket with me I got some rain gear with me and I checked the weather app about a minute ago and it says no rain no precipitation till approximately 6 o'clock in the morning so that's fine okay folks just wanted to let you know Uncle Gunther is safe and got his ICOM 7200 with him today the 7300 is at home, taking a break, and yeah, I talked to Uncle Willy, a German guy that lives in Uruguay, Charlie X-Ray 6 Tango Charlie, and I worked the portable station in Ukraine, Echo Mike 9, um, 
whiskey fox dot fox dot or whiskey whiskey fox dot something like that so um yeah okay folks i'll see you later on happy thursday or happy friday into the countries which are ahead in time of our of our local time 73 is your friend uncle gunther